All right, week 11 uh, NFL. Um, let's get it uh, kicked off Thursday night. Pittsburgh's at Cleveland. Um, some people think Cleveland uh, can make a run here because um, I guess their schedule uh, isn't great. Um, but, I mean, I, I think people are just trying to you know, save face here and, and, and try to keep the, because everyone thought the Browns were going to do something this year. And, uh, I mean, yeah, listen, they, they eked one out against Buffalo last week, so good for them. But, I mean, they, they got to win every game uh, to have any realistic shot at the playoffs. And they're not going to win uh, every game, uh, starting with this one. Uh, Pittsburgh has, you know, got their act back together. Um, you know, they're playing well on defense. Um, I know this game's in Cleveland. Everybody's jacked up. But uh, I'm going to take the Steelers in this one because I just... You know the, the the Browns. Listen, they might they're gonna be feisty the rest of the way, but they they're not getting in the playoffs. They they're too far back, and there's too many teams ahead of them. And you know you don't need a math degree to figure that out. Uh, so I'm gonna take Pittsburgh uh, Thursday night, and then let's go to Sunday the early games. Uh, Cowboys are at Detroit, and you know Cowboys again losing a game. They 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 should have won. They played well enough to win, but uh, again. They, they get out coached because the team's not ready to play. Uh, when, when it's kickoff, um, you know, they recovered quicker this time. They only got themselves down 14-0 uh, before they woke up. But, um, you know, I, I, listen, I'm not going to say anything new that, that people aren't really saying about what the Cowboys should be doing here. But uh, all I'll say is, you know, Zeke Zeke's not himself this year. And I, I don't know what the problem is, but... You know, every every play that Zeke runs this year, you know, he just runs up the middle and maybe he gets a couple yards or he gets stuffed. Like he's not he's not finding holes. Uh, you know, he's not trying to break outside. He's he's just he, it seems like he's going through the motions. So I, I don't know what's going on. I mean, the Cowboys passing was on fire uh, Sunday night against the Vikings. I mean, you know, Dak was was hitting people all over the place, and then it's like. And then, like, every now and then they'd hand the ball to Zeke and it was just like, all right, they either get a couple yards or they get nothing. And it was just like, well, you know, listen, I know you got to run the ball. You can't throw it every down. But, like, you know, here, here they were, you know, getting chunks of yards, passing, and then, like, they would hand it to Zeke and you almost knew, like, well, I guess all right, I guess we're just taking a playoff here because Zeke's not breaking anything. I mean, when was the last time we, we, we got a, a good screen set up for Zeke? I mean, you know, uh, you know, he was always good for <clears throat> you know, screen pass, you know, where he takes it, you know, 30, 40, 50 yards down the field. I don't even know that he's done that once this year. Uh, I mean, you know, name one exciting Zeke play that's happened this year. I mean, he hasn't. I mean, he really hasn't. I mean, I don't know what his numbers are statistically. I mean, I mean I'm sure he's got, you know, averaging close to maybe 100 yards a game or, or maybe, maybe maybe 70 or 80, but he, he just doesn't look the same this year. I, I don't know what the problem is. Uh, but they're going to beat Detroit because, you know, listen, Dallas is going to keep you in it. That's the game plan. It's almost like they do this shit on purpose uh, where, where they, they suck you in, then they blow it, then they come back and say, here we go. Now we've got it together. Then they'll, they'll get, win a couple of games and screw up again. So this is what we've been doing uh, for 20 years now with the Cowboys. So uh, Detroit might not be with Matt Stafford. I don't care if they are. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll somehow win this game. Um, you got Jacksonville at Indianapolis. Indianapolis, a shocking home loss uh, to Miami. Uh, they do get Jacoby Brissett back this week. Uh, the Jaguars, um, you know, they're, they're right in it. I mean, everybody's in it in the AFC for the most part, and everybody in the AFC South is in there. Um, but I'm going to take the Colts here. I'm not going to give up on the Colts here just yet. Uh, they get Brissett back. They got a rebound from that bad loss uh, against the Dolphins. And listen, Dolphins might end up being feisty now. Who knows? Uh, they won two in a row. Um, I know one was the Jets, but you know they all count. And um, you know you, you got you, you can't like just go to sleep on Miami now like you could the first half of the year. Uh, but I'll take the Colts to win a close game in Jacksonville. Um, speaking of Miami, they're hosting Buffalo uh, early Sunday. Um, you know, again, like I said, Miami's gonna be a little bit feisty here. 
Uh, they're not going to be an automatic L uh, or an automatic doormat if you, you know, want to pick fancy defense. Uh, but I'll take the Bills to win this game because the Bills need it uh, after a tough loss in Cleveland. <clears throat> they got to get this one. Stay in the uh, you know, AFC wildcard race. Right? Stay ahead of everybody. Uh, let's see. We got Denver and Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota, big win for them, obviously. Uh, keeps them, you know, well in the, the NFC playoff hunt. Uh, a loss would, you know, really, really would damage them. Um, but, um, but they're right in it there, and they're a good team. And listen, Dalvin Cook's killing it this year. Um, you know, he's he's a great asset to have in fantasy. I was skeptical just because of the injuries he's had the last two years, but um, you know, he's he, he's taking care of business this year. And now, listen, Denver's going to be feisty um, because they've got some skilled players. Uh, but they're not going to win this game. Uh, Vikings will win uh, this one, uh, maybe pretty easily actually. I, you know, again, I don't, I don't trust Denver to do anything big here now the rest of the year. But I mean, not that they did anything big this year at all. But you know, they've got some good skill players. But um, I think Minnesota should win this game easily. Uh, New Orleans at Tampa Bay. Um, you know, another shocking loss for for a top team last week. The Saints just had nothing. Uh, uh, against the Falcons, I mean, you know, it's one and seven versus seven and one, and, uh, and and who knew who the seven and one team was, or who the one and seven team was. Um, so you know, and listen, you know, you're gonna have a bad loss here and there. So you know, I don't think the Saints need to panic or, uh, you know, they're gonna, but um, <clears throat> they'll they'll get the win against Tampa Bay, I think, because you know you you can always count on Tampa Bay being sloppy. Um, and, and they're not really in the hunt, so um, New Orleans will bounce back this week. Um, you get the Jets at Washington. Uh, who cares? Um, the, the, the Jets will win. Um, Atlanta is at Carolina. Um, you know, again, Atlanta, you know, shocking everybody. I guess maybe they were going to fire Dan Quinn uh, if, if, if they would have lost, but, you know, they got, the, they got taken care of, but they're not going to win two in a row. Uh, Carolina needs to get a win. They almost, uh, you know, had a nice win in Green Bay, uh, but McCaffrey couldn't get that ball over the goal line and get him set up for the tie. Uh, but Carolina bounced back this week and um, had to take care of business against Atlanta. Uh, and then you got Houston and Baltimore. You know, huge game. Um, you, you know, you know, both of these teams are, are going to battle for the, uh, the the number two seed right now. Um, and, and this game is basically going to going to decide who that two seed is going to be. Now, Houston still doesn't have a division locked up where, where Baltimore, I think, probably going to win the North. I mean, the Steelers will make a late run, but um, if Baltimore gets this win, they're, they're probably locked up the two seed. Uh, and, and who knows, maybe the one is still out there because, of course, they have beaten New England, so they would win the tiebreaker on New England. Um, I'm going to take Baltimore to win this game, but this this is going to be a real good game. Um, and if Houston can get the win, uh, you know that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna be a big win for them because that that puts them on track for the bye, which you know, which Houston needs. Uh, he, if Houston's gonna take that next step, they they, they got to get a first round bye this year, and, and, and it's in their grasp right now because the Chiefs have you know kind of fallen off here a little bit, and and they've beaten the Chiefs. So um, if Houston can can keep it going, um, you know again the winner of this game is probably gonna get the two seed. Uh, I'll take Baltimore in this game because they're just looking real good right now. Uh, Sunday late afternoon, you get Arizona at San Francisco. Um, San Francisco, uh, listen, that was a great game with Seattle uh, on Monday night. And, uh, you know, obviously it's tough they lost. But listen, the 49ers weren't going to go undefeated. So it's almost like you're glad to get the loss and, you know, get that thing out of the way. But but now, you know, they're in a position where, um, you know, they could suddenly go from 8-0 to, to not even winning the division because you got the Seahawks right up their ass. But, um you know, and Arizona's going to be a feisty team. They almost, uh, you know, pulled it off in Tampa last week. I mean, Arizona's not going to be in the playoffs, but, you know, they're one of those teams you don't want to be seeing right now uh, just because they're going to give you a competitive game. Uh, 49ers will bounce back, um, so I'll take them this week. And then you get uh, Cincinnati at Oakland. I mean, the Bengals. The Bengals could be headed for 0-16. Um, you know, I'm not, I haven't looked at their schedule, but, you know, I don't, I don't know who's left that – that they could possibly beat. Um, I'm not going to look right now because I don't feel like it. But um, and and the Raiders, you know, look out. I mean, the Raiders are now in a position where not like you know they looking like they could get a wild card. They they could win the AFC West. I mean, they're five and four. The Chiefs are six and four. So they're they're tied in the loss column right now. Now again, the Chiefs have won in Oakland already this year. So Oakland's got to go play them in Kansas City. 
before he is out, but um, you know the, the Chiefs have stumbled here, and, and they're 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 ripe to be taken out, and and, and the Raiders could do it. And, and again, don't discount these last few games in Oakland, all right? Because because this is it. Um, you know, it, it's been a legendary place for a legendary franchise, and um, these last few games, it, it, Oakland's going to be tough to beat in Oakland these last few games, and they, they don't have a hard schedule. So you know they're going to get a couple of wins here, but um, and of course they'll beat the Bengals this week. But you know, watch out for the Raiders. Uh, they they could sneak in when the AFC West. Um, the last game you got Sunday late afternoon. You get in New England and Philly. Um, you know, uh, you know Philly's coming off a bye. They're tied with Dallas right now. You know they're they're feeling better about themselves because because the Cowboys blew it uh, the other night. But um, <clears throat> you know New England's coming off the bye as well. You know, they can't be happy about the way they looked in Baltimore. And um, they'll, they'll bounce back and get the win this week. Uh, obviously, I'm rooting for New England to win the game. Um, but um, I think they'll get it because they're just, you know, they're just a better team. I mean, they're the Patriots. Um, but they've, uh, you know, they, they've got some proof here coming. You know, they've had, a, they've had two weeks to think about that bad game they put up in Baltimore. Uh, so I'll take New England. And then uh, Sunday night game, you get the Bears and the Rams. I guess we couldn't flex out of this one, huh? Um, not sure why they kept this one on there. I mean, the Bears are kind of out of it. Um, the Rams are still hanging around, but, you, you, you know, you don't like the way they looked uh, in Pittsburgh last week. Um, I, man, I want, something tells me I think that the Bears are going to win this game somehow. Um but their defense just hasn't been playing well. And, you know, offensively, they, they challenge moving the ball. And, you know, I'll take the Rams, but I, th this is not a good Sunday night game. Uh, hopefully this is the last uh, iffy Sunday night game because I think they, they flex some pretty good games coming up. So, um, you know, whatever it is, what it is, in Chicago and Los Angeles, you know, they've got two big markets. That's probably why they left it on there. Uh, I'll take the Rams in this one, but I wouldn't be shocked if the Bears pull this one out. And then uh, you get Monday night, uh, Chiefs at the Chargers uh, in Mexico City. Um, this was the game that was supposed to be. Well, actually, the, the Chiefs were supposed to play the Rams last year uh, in Mexico City, but then they had stadium issues. They got the game moved. And, of course, that's when we got the 54-51 Classic. Uh, I wonder if that would have happened uh, had that game been played in Mexico, but um, it didn't, and we got what we got. But uh, Chiefs will get to go to Mexico City this time to get the Chargers. Um, Chargers kind of... Put themselves out of it, uh, losing to the Raiders uh, last Thursday night. Um, and, and listen, they'll, they'll be competitive in games, but you, you can't trust them week to week. And, and, and she, listen, the Chiefs need this win. Uh, they're in trouble because um, I don't know that um, I don't know that the second place team in AFC West is going to get the other wild card. Um, you know, or one of the two wild cards. I think I think Buffalo will get the at least one of them. Because uh, their schedule's not so bad, but you know she she's got to win this game. I mean they're 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 playing with the fire. Here. Chiefs are teetering on the edge of disaster. And I can't think of another cliche, but you know what I'm talking about. So, but I'll get, I'll take the Chiefs to win this one, uh, and then we'll go from there. So uh, there you go. We'll get to finally Cowboys are not on in prime time, first time in a month. So we'll get to knock out an early game Sunday, and then uh, there you go. Uh, week eleven NFL football.